Special Public Lands and Buildings Committee meeting, August 22nd, 2024. I'm going to call the Special Land Public Lands and Buildings Committee meeting to order at 5 o'clock p.m. on August 22nd, 2024. Members, uh, members present, sorry, Zion Hickman, Christopher Moritz, and myself, Sierra and Sherrick Chair, Carolyn Sherman is absent. First, we have public participation. Okay, seeing none. Oh, you coming? Yes, I actually just have a question. We'll just come up to the yes. podium. State your name and address. Um, Angela Fishpaw, 455 Sears. I just, I have a concern about what Mr. Frank Hauser said the other night. Because I feel that he sat there very condescending and lied to the public. I did my own little research today and found out that everything he said was untruthful to what he was telling the citizens at the meeting the other night and to your, your board here. Um, I do have some evidence to back that up because I talked to several people up here at the municipal building today. I also talked to the owners of the property last night because like I said, they are friends of mine. Um, just to find out that this isn't a thing where we're just asking and throwing this out there. It's actually basically a done deal. And he lied. I also went to Katona Realty today and found out that he lied. That's not cool. It's really not cool for the president of our city council to sit there and lie to the public like that. And that's all I have to say about it. Thank you. Yep. All right, anybody else? Okay, first up, the approval of minutes. I would entertain a motion for the <coughs> approval of minutes for the August 12, 2024 Special Public Lands and Buildings Committee meeting. I will make a motion to approve the minutes from the August 12th, 2024 Special Public Lands and Buildings Committee meeting. I'll second that. All right, I have a motion from Mr. Hickman and a second from Mr. Moritz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion passes. Um, next up on the, sorry, <laughs> agenda is the wavelength contract. Do we have any more information about what it costs us to have the services that we have? Tommy, or whoever's in the corner. For, for wavelength, is it going to cost us more for security features than it does to have paid internet? Like, have we done any sort of bids or figured out what the cost is going to be? I have not. I suppose while we're on that topic, um, do we have any information on a contract with Wavelink at all? So I suppose is my next question will be, we've been letting Wavelink run without a contract for almost four months, to my knowledge. And there have been no uh, guidelines or uh, restrictions to what Wavelink can or cannot do. We have IT, which is one of the things we were looking to get. We have that now, but. Do we? Did we pick up an IT service? I believe so. I think it's Tate. So I guess my question would be, is the administration serious about moving forward with Wavelink and keeping it? Because we've gone so long without any information about a contract. And I feel like without, um, without a contract, um, guidelines or restrictions, I really don't feel comfortable continuing to use Wavelink for the city. So. 
Chris, do you have any questions or think, thoughts on this? I, I think Zion pretty much said it all. So, so is there a way that the city could find out what the difference is in cost for security going through Wavelength or with, with keeping Wavelength versus security through a company that has security as a part of it? If you're a computer person, go for it. I don't know anything about computers. I don't have any clue what computer security. Uh, we're going off what we little bit I know. Yeah, well, because I know that there, um, there are some um, ISPs, unfortunately uh, major um, ISPs like Spectrum, that have uh, security built in. I'm not sure about uh, Brightspeed or the other one that we had in town, but should we try to see about the cost difference first before we do anything else with the uh, wavelength contract on the agenda. Yeah, we're also going to have to have a law director that can go over all of it with us, what but we've got to do. That too, yeah. Unfortunately. All right, do we have anything else from the wavelength? All right, so that one's kind of still on hold. Is it hold or are we going to table it? Well, it's the same difference. Yeah, same difference. <laughs> Verbiage matters. <laughs> All right. Restrictions on fel felonious sex offenders. That was also something the law director was supposed to be looking into. <laughs> Tag damn it. All right. So we're going to have to table that for the moment because we do need that information as to what we can add and how. Do we have anything on open projects we'd like to talk about? Pretty sure we're going to want to talk about the purchase of uh, the YMCA. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing that we have several things coming to light on that that we didn't know about previously. Has everybody gotten to look at that? Because I haven't, I was driving a bus. I looked at the email uh, briefly. I woke up not that long ago, so I didn't get a chance to look at it fully. Email from? Mr. Fankhauser. Yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah, you were at work. <laughs> Vicki, did you have any input on this? Excuse me? I say, did you have any input on this since he said I, I also included Vicki on the email? No, I don't really. <sighs> so. Going to assume that this was, yeah, this is a purchase contract. So it's with the intent to purchase. So we're not able to do anything on that at this point in time either. You need a law director. We need a law director. Even if it's just an interim, we, we need something. Do we have any law directors that we're looking into getting? Do we have any news on what's going on with ours? Hopefully we can get somebody who can help us out a little bit. 
kind of lost here. <laughs> yeah. We're in a, a little bit of a pickle. All right. So that has to be tabled till we have some sort of information here to go with it. Do we have any other public participation? I actually would like to make a comment about the last one that you just said. Okay. <laughs> so I apologize. No, no, you're fine. Just based on what you just said. Okay, so Mr. just listening out loud to your conversation about Mr. Greg Pastor's um, um, email to you guys, you're saying it's just a contract um, for purchase. According to the Thoroughmans, it's a done deal. Um, because apparently the mayor went to Katona Realty and said, hey, we're purchasing this. And the Thoroughmans last night, when they seen this on, on, online, they were very upset um, with what Mr. Frank Hauser had to say. Because um, her sister came to me last night, who's also part owner of the skating rink in old YMCA building. And she was questioning, she goes, I can't believe what we saw and heard from our city. Um, they lied. It's, I mean, it's great for them for the money, but on the other hand, they wanted to keep that skating rink. They've tried. They have called the city to try to get a hold of somebody to help them because it is, is a historical building. Um, and nobody in this city seems to understand or know that there's even ordinances with the state or with the city, except for residential historical buildings, because I checked on that today myself. Um, with stating that, Apparently, the closing date is supposed to be September 4th or September 6th to purchase that land. It is literally a done deal. Um, that's not cool. That's really not. Um, also, the fact that um, it's just, you, you can't lie. You know, and then you, you mentioned about the law director. He sat here last night and he was very clear. Or the other night when we were here two nights ago, I apologize. Well, he, our law director has been. Oh, I know. But no, Mr. Frankhauser was very clear and said, in two weeks, we will have an interim law director. That's because that caught everyone's ear yeah. in here that night. And you can go back and listen to it on, on yeah. Facebook, because he did say that. Which kind of was weird that he would say that, because that really coincides with the closing of that property for the dates that he was throwing out there. Oh. You know, that's just. And the one, the one thing I did find interesting today when I went to Katona Realty is, did you know that they own a, con a contracting company, a construction company? I didn't know that to today. Their grandson, Louis's grandson, son owns the con um, contracting company. That's Louis the Fourth. Yes. So I don't know if that's actually his name. I just I just know they it's his son. They, okay. They go down the line. Okay. They do. So with stating that, from my understanding, my conversation with him today is, and he volunteered this, that whatever property they get in line with to sell, and if it needs work on it they always get the contract to do the construction work. It's a guarantee. That's, that's kind of weird. I mean, I think it's a little weird. So, but again, just the fact that when we don't have a law director, so we have a mayor doing a deal without a law director, and we have Mr. Frank Hauser lying to the public. I think something needs to really change here. And you guys say that this is tabled and tabled and tabled. Right. It's kind of black and white. I mean, I understand what you have to do per law and everything, right. but a lot of it is black and white. I mean, call your IT companies up. A normal person would do that in a house. I mean, why can't a business do that? Why can't the city do that? I mean, isn't that your guys' jobs? That part's an administrative function. That's administrative function for Mr. Starner. I get that. but. There shouldn't be no head deer in the headlight looks. There shouldn't be any, I don't know, I don't have this today, knowing what the agenda is. You know, nothing against anybody here whatsoever, so please don't think I'm saying that. But I guess it's just more common sense than, than anything because you can get on the phone, look it up, on the, we got the internet today, look it up, look up your prices, compare. And it shouldn't be that difficult. It shouldn't be something that's going to be tabled and tabled and tabled. When you keep saying, well, we can't, well, and I understand you can't do nothing without a law director. Right. Because it's all legal. I get that. But anyways, that's all I have to say. Sorry. No, you're good. I wish I could be more helpful. So how, seeing that it's a done deal already, isn't there a way? I don't know. I kind of feel like they're, should have been more transparency 
on both parts because we didn't know this until today that it was done. We thought we had more time. Slater, 3645 State Route 4. So correct me if I'm wrong, but contracts legislation has to be approved by the legislative body, yeah. not the administrative body. For any purchase over $50,000, I believe it is. Is that the number, Vicki? Do you remember? 70? 75, Jim said. Okay, so if it's a purchase over seventy-five thousand dollars and they're wanting a hundred and five, is that what it was or something for it? I, yeah, I, think I believe so. yes. So there can't be, or that would be either mal or misfeasance and misuse of your office, would it not? It's not legal. So you're saying that they bypass the public lands again? They by not <coughs> getting legislation approved through this body and drafted. Over $75,000, administration's not allowed to secure contracts. So they can't sign that they're going to pay somebody that's legislation. That has to go through you all. It's not an administrative function, it's a legislative function. All right. Correct? Okay. I just want to make sure that we are yep. all on the same page. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess I now have questions on who pulled the gun on that one. I definitely have questions for the law director. <laughs> yeah, goes back to the law director. <laughs> just going to put that out there. there. Big it's, letters. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that. <laughs> All right. Do we have any more public participation? Yes, Mr. Me. I mean... Jimmy, 73 Westbury Street. We had an executive session. And nothing out of executive session can come out of executive session. I just it want to mention that. To be, yeah, that's exactly. I'm sorry, I'm in the same boat. That's why I'm just sitting here going, it, my head's spinning. All right, do we have any other? public participation. I'm going to adjourn public lands and buildings at 5.18 p.m.